Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Toothpicks. It's been a long time, and it's Christmas, so today we're gonna step it up, and we're gonna do something very special for the family today. We're gonna do a prime rib roast. So Merry Christmas to everybody out there. So what we got right here, we got a prime rib roast. You can get it at your supermarket, get it at your Sam's, get it at your butcher. This one right here does not have the bone in it, as you can see from the bottom. No bone in it, and it, but it has the strings, the cooking strings um, on it already. I know some of you might correct me what the proper term for that is, but it's okay. It's cooking string. So what we have, you know, we look for meat. You look for a little bit of marbling right here. Might not be the best marbling out of some, some, some of the parts. If I turn it around, it has some real good marbling on this side right here. So it's gonna be pretty different. What you're really looking for is you want something with a good fat. Uh, well, you know, a lot of fat cap on it so it can keep it moist while it's cooking. Here we got a fat cap on here. It's a little red, you know, from being in the refrigerator, thawing out. You don't want to thaw this out on the counter. Thaw it out in your refrigerator to be at least a day, two, three days uh, if it's frozen ahead of time. So what we're going to do right here, we're going to get it ready uh, to go on a smoker. But I want it to sit a couple hours and I want it um, to absorb some of the seasoning. You can let it sit for a couple hours or you can sit it, let it sit for a day or so, however you want to do it. So what I got today, I'm gonna show you some of my seasonings, uh, what I have today, okay? So over here, what we have is some ground, coarse black pepper, um, as you got in here, some kosher salt right here. I'm using horseradish mustard, horseradish mustard. We got a little bit of olive oil. And over here, we got some fresh, minced garlic and a little bit of celery seed got a little bit of celery seed in there you can't really see it so don't worry about it okay so what i'm going to do first take this olive oil and i'm going to do it i'm going to do everything on this uh cutting board then i'll transfer it to my little pan and i'll saran wrap it so what i'm going to do is take a little olive oil in my hand you don't need too much just a little bit okay because i'm going to be putting the mustard on just rub it all over you know rub it all over Get that olive oil on there, get it shine up right there. Get it all up in here. If you feel like you need a little more, get a little more. You know, get a little more. Get it on the bottom. Right there. Okay. Get it all over right there. Get it rubbed down. So once you finish with the olive oil, make sure you clean up your bottles and stuff. If you're touching it with your hands with raw meat, make sure you sanitize the outside of your bottles when you finish. Got a little bit of this horseradish mustard right there. Okay, stir that up. Put that all over that. You might not use all this. You might use as much as you want. Get that sitting in there real good, real good. My wife loves prime rib. I do too. She but she really loves it. So I better cook this right. I'm gonna be in trouble on Christmas. You know, on Christmas, you don't want to be in trouble on Christmas. Right there. Get that all over that right there. I might even just end up using all this because I like flavor. You know, get it all in that meat, massage the meat. Get it all up in there. Okay. There we go. Put that away. Turn back over. I want to keep my shape kind of like that and I'll rinse off my hands. Real quick. Okay. Alright, so what I'll do now, mix up my little concoction of salt and pepper right here. Mix it up a little bit as much as you want. Throw some of my garlic in there. Put that garlic in there right there. Mix that up. All right, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put all this on here. I'm gonna rub it in. Rub that in there. Get it all in there. That's why it's called rubbed. Rub it in. Get on that fat. You might get a little messy with this, no problem. 
Might get a little rip messy. Ain't a, ain't a big deal. Get some more in there. Get in between that and little crevices in there. Normally, if you have a bone, you will kind of split it between the bone and the meat, but leave the bone on. So since we don't have that today, but just in case you have one, that's what you would do. You kind of cut it down the back of the, the between the bone and the meat. A little, little separation right there. Now I'm gonna get all this seasoning on here, guys. Okay, I'm gonna put most of it on the top. As you can see. Most of it on the top. Okay. Once we got all that right there, make sure I got a little bit of garlic and stuff. Okay. Get some of that on the inside. Everything's gonna kind of pack it in. Get it on there. Okay, rinse my hands off. Okay, and this is parts you don't have to really see, but what I will go ahead and do next, guys, is got you some saran wrap right here. Okay, you got some saran wrap. Just wrap this in some saran wrap, put it in your container, and put it back in your refrigerator and let it sit. But before you cook, what we're gonna do, we're gonna take this out and let it get back down close to room temperature before we throw it on our smoker. So until then, I'm gonna let this sit and rest and we'll be back. bring this prime rib out here so what I got we're gonna set this up to smoke about four hours um, you can do about six but that's if you was cooking at 225 you'll be cooking at about between 235 and 250 and you're really not really cooking for time you're cooking for internal temperature so we'll get to that later when I put the um, meat on I'm gonna show you what I got I got some um, coals burning right now as you see I lit them up with my torch get them good and hot and ready okay I'm um, turning great, so I'm gonna be putting them on in a minute. Um, you can have them lot gray if you want. But what I have in here in my smoker is I got some cold coals. This is what you call a menu method. I'm doing this on the Weber today, um, not in my other smokers. And I got me a pan because I want to catch the drippings from the meat. And I got a little bit of water in there that way I can catch it and it won't be all grease. And I can mix that up and then maybe put some onions in it or whatever. Um, so I got that right there. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna lift my little latch up. I got these coals on. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and add these. And then I'm, I'm gonna let it come up to temp. We'll come back out. Right there. What's that's gonna do? It's gonna uh, blend with those coal charcoal right there. And it'll allow for a slower smoke at a lower temp. And that's what we want today. So I'm gonna bring it up, you know, higher in temp because I want a little crust on the uh, outside of the roast, but we want it. Well, everybody, since I'm serving about seven people today, we got about, I'm gonna do it between a medium, medium rare, maybe a more medium. I like my medium rare. My wife likes her medium, medium rare. But since other people are eating it, we're gonna bring it up a little bit as far as the meat temperature goes. And that'll allow us to cook. And next, what we'll do, we'll bring the meat out and we'll place it on the grate and then let it smoke. Oh, sorry. We got some uh, visitors there playing today. Nightmare. Say hello, Nightmare. Or Roddy, that's a little Maltese. They play their friends. Yeah. They like to watch me. They're my special guests. I watch them smoke. It stop. They're probably hey, upset that camera. you don't have no bones. We're on camera. Nightmare. Night. Stop. Hey, leave me alone. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so we got a temperature up. And what I'm using today, guys, we're using some apple wood. So fruit wood is real good. Um, it's, it's prime ribs. So cherry or apple will be good. Let's tell them to take this off. Fire's doing good. What you want to do is go ahead and get it put on there. 
I'm gonna put it right over this pan so it can drip as can drip. Indirect heat. And guys, we're gonna enter this probe right through the middle. That's where we want. Right through the middle, guys. Not all the way down so it hit the grating. But right there, should be good. And we're gonna shoot for, like I said, about 140 degrees. 120 to the one, 130 is about rare. 130 to 135, uh, medium rare. And then your medium is 140. So 135, 140 is what I'm shooting for today. Should take about three or four hours to cook at around 250. So heat's coming back up, so let's get it back on. And we'll come out and check it every about 45 minutes to an hour and spray it with some apple juice. That's what I'm gonna spray it with today until it is ready. All right, see y'all later. Hey guys, welcome back. We're at the end of our cook, and what I have right here, I wrap this uh, primary up about 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, we cooked it to about 130, 135 degrees, which is uh, basically medium to medium rare. So, in an attempt, a constant about 130, about 235. So, what we're gonna do now is unwrap it, see what it looks like. Look at that right there. Take this, put it on the cutting board. Gonna save these juices, save the juices. Put them off to the side. And see, you know, you can get the bark as dark as you want, but we're gonna go ahead and cut into this thing. You know, for the fit, you got some string in here to get off. Right there. Don't forget about your strings. Take that one off for right now. Okay, and you know more in the middle will be more rare than the one on the outside. So we'll cut the first slice off. You can cut them as thick as you want. That'd be good. And that's what you want right there. Not real raw, but a little bit of blood. That's how we like it, medium to medium rare. Real tender. And that's about it. That's how you do it. Hope y'all enjoy y'all Christmas and next year. Just, you know, look at this video. If you want to do one, any kind of application you have. And stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.